Guys, the capital for tarpon in North America is Southwest Florida. Therefore, fishermen love these waters, but we don't even eat these fish. So why in the world do people travel from all over the country to catch Southwest Florida tarpon? Woo! Well, here's why. This is Mike Faulkner, and this is his buddy, Joe Harley, his tarpon and fishing guide. Mike's been hooked on tarpon fishing since the 70s. They're not only big, but they're powerful. I always say hooking one is like hooking on the eastbound end of a westbound freight train. They are monstrously strong, and it's a real fight when you get one. And that's a lot of fun. Oh, I think it is, yep. Oh, they're the most exciting, yeah, yeah. There are parts of the world where people eat tarpon, but not here. This is purely a fish for sport. People just love catching tarpon. What is it? Can you put it into words? Well, they just explode. When you hook one, not only are they very powerful, they can almost pull the rod out of your hand, but they explode and they jump, and they jump repeatedly, and they're silver, and the sun shines off of them. I mean, it's just a spectacular sight. Yeah, it's something to see. Yep. It's addicting. It's like any sport that gets into your blood, into your system. It just grabs you and holds you. If you could choose any day, of fishing. Your first choice is tarpon. Yes. When did you catch that bug? Oh gosh. I think I really had the bug before I caught one because I knew they were around. I knew how big they were. I'd seen pictures and videos of how they jumped and, and ran and I just had to catch one. And once I did, it was I was hooked forever. You are hooked? Yeah. And Mike really makes a sport of it. There's two ways to catch tarpon. Bait fishing or fly fishing. But using bait is significantly less challenging than fly fishing. The appeal of fly fishing is hunting them and finding them and trying to get the fly right in front of them and teasing them and getting them to bite. It takes more skill. This is more like a combination of fishing and hunting. You go where they are. The challenge is they're moving to figure out where they're moving, to throw the fly, to get in front of them. You gotta be a pretty good caster to do that. And I've been working on my cast for, oh, I don't know, seven or eight years, and I still don't think I'm that good at it. Get him, stick him. Now here's where it gets really exciting. Tarpon get enormous. The biggest one I've caught was about 200 pounds. 200? Yep. So you're fighting something bigger than you? Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> It's are bigger you, than most people. Are you 200? <laughs> yeah. I think the world record is probably about 275, 280. And you can watch them. You can watch them see the fly. You can watch them come up to it. You can watch them refuse it, or you can watch them grab it. And when they grab it after you send it out there, there's, there's hardly any thrill anywhere like that. It is really something. Spending a day with Mike and Joe, you just get it. Charlotte Harbor, Boca Grand Pass, Pine Island Sound. This area is known as the tarpon capital of the world. There's more tarpon here than anywhere. People come from all over the world to fish for tarpon in this area. Best fishing in the world? I think so. Field and Stream says the best fishing in North America. I would actually be heartbroken if I ever had to leave here. I just absolutely love it. I just, I love it here. 